So I'm currently editing and uploading a video. Actually uploading because I've already edited it. Um, but just got back from the gym. Have to hurry and get ready for work, but this stupid computer is so slow. <laughs> so here it is right here. Haven't even created a title or anything yet. So if you guys haven't, go and check out all my other videos. Got two pages. I think I have like almost 50 videos or something like that. Uh, 49, yeah. So my most viewed is like way down here is one of my first ones. 28,977 views. That's so many. Then I also got uh, almost 12,000 on that one, 6,000, almost 10,000, and then like the rest of them are like 25, <laughs> 15, 500, 17. Yeah. So, anyways, just kind of wanted to show you guys that. Go check out those other videos, and we'll see you soon. Hey, what's going on guys? It's been a little while since I've done a commentary, so I just wanted to kind of go over my workout. Um, this was an arm and shoulder workout, but I didn't feel any of my shoulders. Um, so I started out with assisted dips. As you saw, I just changed the handles. Um, they were close grip and then I changed them to wide and then I ended up changing them back to close grip again right here. Um, I focused on hitting um, about 10 to 12 and I think that's where I, I think I hit 12 on this. Um, just trying to warm up the muscle. I had it very lightly assisted as you can see there's only two little plates on there but um, That just kind of helps out a little bit with it being my first exercise After doing two sets of that Jumped into regular dips um, the regular dips I started out with a couple of half reps right here and then went up into the full reps again aiming for the 10 to 12 range um, If I'm hitting much more than 12 then I'm gonna add some weight on whether it's putting a dumbbell in between my legs or um, they have a weight belt as well. After that, um, went on to this. This is a weird Smith machine that they have in my gym. So I just push the bar all the way to the very edge. You can do this on um, pretty much anything else. You don't have to do it on the Smith machine, but I like the way that it felt on this. Um, so I'm doing close grip tricep push-ups. So I'm getting the full extension at the top, locking out, and then coming all the way down, getting the squeeze. And this, I was just going to failure. So I was really, really burning out my triceps here on this exercise. Um, and it was probably one of the best workouts I've had in quite a while as far as my arms go. Um, this one is definitely something I'm going to be incorporating into every workout, every arm workout anyways. Uh, so that finished off my triceps. It seemed short, but I did about three to four sets with every exercise. And then I jumped into incline curls right here. And sorry for the camera angle, it's kind of lower. Um, still getting used to this tripod and everything. But uh, focusing again, this was two arms at a time. Um, focusing on squeezing at the top, hitting um, that 10 to 12 rep range is what I was shooting for. Um, and kind of using a little bit lighter weight on these inclines to really get the full stretch at the top. And then here you'll see I started single arm. And then I realized the double was going to be better. Uh, so I pushed it over to double and then I end up leaning back some more. So when you lean back, you get a lot more stretch on your bicep when it pulls all the way down. Um, so this is usually like one of the best burnout exercises that you can do. Um, and I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, and so with triceps and biceps, normally I'll do them like each. Um, so I'll do triceps first and then biceps, but this time I kind of bounced back and forth. That's why you're seeing some tricep extensions here. I did a little bit heavier. I think I had 120 pounds, um, with these and I believe I shot for about eight and then I dropped it down to, um, it was probably eight to 12 actually. And then I dropped it down to a lighter weight and just burned out the rest of it. Um, and this is going to be a short commentary. This is actually, um, the last little exercise that I filmed. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this and stay tuned for the rest of the video. What's going on guys? It is December 20th. And I just finished my arms and shoulder workout. It's my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. Not that he's watching this by any means, but... Um, yeah, so just did a workout. Finished up. Now i got to head to work. I'm actually running a little bit behind because I got a late start to my morning. Even though I woke up early enough, I just had a lot to catch up on um, after the weekend. Sorry for the jolty camera I'm getting in my car, obviously. Um, 
So one thing I wanted to touch up on was um, just talking about how I stay motivated um, to be lifting and to just continue with my fitness lifestyle and everything like that. Um, and there's a lot of different factors that come into this, but um, one of the main ones is just how I'm able to get up in the morning and get to the gym. Um, I usually get to the gym at six, maybe a little bit sooner, but I'm up at five. Um, the reason for that is that, um, and I might have covered this in a previous video, but I get up about an hour early before I get to the gym to not only kind of wake myself up with food, that's one of my main things, um, but also because I sit and I watch YouTube videos. Um, now YouTube, obviously if you're watching this, you probably have a pretty good taste of what YouTube's about, like how you can actually make money off of it and you can make cool videos and do cool edits and all that. Um, but it's really motivating to see there's a lot of people that I follow that just, they kill it. Their <laughs> editing's on point and they're just amazing and um, their lifestyle is so cool and fun to watch and it also keeps you motivated. If you watch people like one of my favorites is Christian Guzman or Steve Cook or um, Brian DaCosta, he's a newer YouTuber, but there's a few out there that you watch their lifestyles and you just, that's what you want to do. Um, Brian DaCosta is more of a normal living person because he's newer, but which is cool. He works a uh, normal day job and then YouTube's on the side and his videos are still awesome. But like Steve Cook and Christian Guzman, this is what they do for a living um, and their lives are crazy. Uh, so I, I do that to kind of keep motivated, to remind myself to keep pushing. Um, and then the other aspect of all of this is I also set my goals, which that's the number one thing if you're getting into this industry is that you should set goals. And don't put your goals too far out of reach. Um, you want to set them to be realistic. So my main goal at this moment is to step on stage June 2017. Um, and I've said that like the past couple of years, but I'm going to make my goal happen. And if I take last place, so be it. But at least I'll have gotten on stage, kind of gotten a taste for it and see what I need to improve on for the next time. Um, and that's what you kind of have to do. If you don't meet your goal, just keep working towards it. But set little goals, little increment goals in order to get to that point. Um, and it's gonna help you out quite a bit because you'll accomplish a little goal and you'll feel really achieved with that. And then you go up a step to the next goal and then to the next and to the next until you reach your end goal. And then once you reach that end goal, you gotta set another one because nobody in life is ever gonna be completely fulfilled with any of goal, any goals, because you're always going to have a higher goal. Even I'm sure Bill Gates has a higher goal, probably to make more money than even though he's a millionaire, he still wants to improve and um, keep going with it. So do so many other people in this world. That's kind of what you should do, in my opinion. Because if you don't set goals, you're just sitting there stationary and you're not doing anything. Um, which, if that's how you want to live your life, I'm not here to tell you how to live your life, but. In my opinion, you should always set some sort of goal, whether it be physical and be in the gym, whether it be financially, you know, with a relationship, anything like that. It's key to set goals in order to meet that goal and progress in life, essentially, is how I view it. So thank you guys so much for watching. That was a little rant, um, and that's going to conclude this video. We will catch you guys later. See ya.